Um, so now... Let me get my... Image going here. Okay, so here's the skip for... Alright, and for this we're going to need... I'm, so for this part... I hate turning blocks. I really wish they would change how that works. Um, some of you might like it. I personally can't stand it. It gets so annoying to try and flip these around the right way. So on the after the skip four, go up two more blocks, and then the one over to that, go add one more, and then that should give you your defining line um, for the exterior part. Put a little corner guy there. That's going to make sense in a second. Um, so grab this and drag it all the way back. So from the corner. Actually, you can go ahead if you can ever get these blocks in the right position and go up two on all of these past this, this guy. So two to um, flip it. Oh, too many. And then go two, 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 and then you're past the skip four, so do one, and then do one here. And then put a corner here if you want to. Save yourself some time. Grab from this guy and drag all the way back. So it should connect there, and it should connect here. Perfect. Alright, so now what we're going to do is basically just fill all this in up to... I think it's this... Whoa, 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 whoa. Is it this point? No. Alright, just fill it up to there for now. Where did the other one end? My tablet keeps going to sleep right when I need it. <clears throat> Alright, so you can fill this one out. Oh, I guess it won't really matter that much. Uh, okay. So, should be this guy right here. Bring this up a ways. Or actually, no. Um, just from this point. Bring this up to the height here. Kind of try and line these guys up. Oops. What's that? So this is from the back. I'm going to go out 23 blocks for all of those keeping score at home. And then you should be able to bring... Oh, wait. No, this is a... Yeah. So bring this out to where it's three wide, and then put slants on each side, and bring it down to where it connects over here. So go from one behind this corner guy, this one block, and then bring it up and connect it with two. So that's going to be your hull type shape. Um, now you do have some extra wiggle room in this area, so if you wanted to go along and place extra um, powers, gyros, that kind of stuff, if, if you want more performance or something of that nature out of the, the ship, that's perfectly fine. That's what I did. I don't know that I'll need it for this particular build, because I'm doing it with the large engines and I didn't do that last time. Um, last time I had small thrusters all the way up to here, and packed it with um, uh, reactors and stuff. I do think I'm going to put some extra, if I can look up here. Nope. I'm going to put extra gyros up there. Um, and you know what? We'll probably just fill this guy right here in with um, power cells because with this many large engines, we'll probably need it. I hate when it does this go down, not up. Okay, 
and one more row. And let's see. Well, I'll go ahead and fill this one in too. Just cause. Just cause we can. Because I'm pretty sure these larger ones are going to require a hefty amount of power compared to the small generators. Or, I mean, the small engines. What? Why'd you not. Uh, go! Build. Thank you. Sorry, this episode is kind of long. I'm just... I don't really want to do a two-part on this. Um, so let's see if we can't just quickly wrap this guy up. Oops. Wrong block. That's not going to make it go any faster. Boom. And... Boom. And boom. Yay. And cover that guy up. Alright. So that's the... That's the basic... Let me get rid of you. Um, that's the basic hull part. Now we're going to work on the cockpit. So the first thing is place a cockpit down. Like so. Um, and you can... Okay. These guys got to go. Because they're going to be in the way. This is going to get... This guy's got to go too. So this gets covered up, and it won't let me place there for some reason. And this kind of helps act as a guideline <coughs> for uh, later, for designing the um, the rest of the cockpit nose for as derpy as it is. I apologize for that. Not my best work, but it was the best I could come up with while trying to maintain the shape of the original ship. And also there is room in the nose here um, that if you wanted to do um, some extra stuff, power cells, gyros, whatever, you can. Okay, now, now comes the fun part, this derpy little nose. Oh, and one last thing on this part, go ahead and grab these slanted blocks and drag them all the way back to the edge. It's about 23 blocks from there. And then solid blocks all the way back to here. <coughs> and bring these guys up to here. Like so. And then put a slant there. Slants all the way here with a curve corner. And same thing here. Drag them all the way back. About 26 blocks, give or take. And then put a the thing there. That's going to be your edge kind of design. Now for this, go ahead and put a block there. So you should end up, should end up with something like this. You can place a solid block there, go to one of the fours, the inverted corners, and place it about like that, I think. Right? Let me, let me double check. That doesn't look right. Aha! That's the problem. No, no, it's not. That is how I did it. Okay. Um. Actually... Could we do... Like this? Come on, you stupid blocks. Mm. Doesn't really look any better, to be honest. I don't think. Either way, it's up to you. I personally like this style better than this one. Um, but that's a, that's a preference thing. So for me, <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and leave it the way that I just did it. And let's see. So that's that side. Let's go ahead and put the corner block here. And then one block. And we'll get this guy. Oops. Like so. 
and that should line up with that corner block down there. Yep. Nice. Nicey nice. Like so. And boom. And drag this guy back. Boom. And there you go. You got that part done. Just add your corners. Okay. So that part helps us out with the nose a little bit. Now, now comes the fun slash tricky part. So what you want to do is put corners on most of these, I believe. Let's go ahead and place your corners. And this guy's not filled in. So fill that in, fill this in up to two. When I say fill in, I'm meaning two. Too high. Or a total of three, I suppose, but make sure it's too high off the base. Uh, just for symmetry, I think I had that one like that. Okay. Now put a slant here. Now for me, I put a pair of reflector lights here. I think I actually had three, but I prefer the two now that I'm looking at it. Um, and all of these are going to be curves, like so, up into, up till the corners. Those are going to be inverted corners. So one, two, like that. Now pull out the inverted corners, get them orient, orient, oriented correctly. Can't say oriented. Oh, we're so close. Okay. No, that's definitely not the wrong way. Dang it, sun. Blinding me. Can't see where I'm doing. <sighs> like that. And like that. So you got the corners done. Now what you want to do is connect these guys, right? So that it all has like this free-flowing angle shape type of deal. And this will also help line up uh, where the next thing goes, if my memory serves. <coughs> what am I looking at here? Okay. Okay, so that's, yeah. Alright. So, let's see. Now what we want to do is place a standard block there. You know, actually need that one down there. Nope. So one block there, one block there. And corners. Let's put corners here. And invert corners. Oh my gosh, this sun is blinding on this on this white paint. And then you can do standard blocks and then a set of slopes like this and then finish it off with two corners and then blocks underneath there so you don't see any gaps. Now from here, wait a minute, that doesn't look right. It's because it's not right. Take these slopes out. Don't, don't do that. Scratch that, reverse it. So from here, you want to come out three blocks and then put a slope like this and then uh, put slopes along the sides like this. That's where I messed up. So, ignore that last part. Like this. Put corners, corners, like so. And now you basically, I think, go along and just fill in this with standard blocks. Um, and I am going to trim this up a little bit. I'm stuck here. Only because... Um, Physics do actually play into a ship, so if you had too much weight on one side or something, it can uh, throw the ship off or out of balance. So, boom. There you go. And now the last step is uh, landing gears, and that's fairly simple. Um, the easiest way to do it for me was to find the center point, go back a little ways. This is kind of more random than... Uh, explanatory. I usually place it right about there 
on the second block of the skip force. And now you can click and drag. Oh, it's in there, so it won't. And you can just click and drag and put one right about right about there. Just so there's one along the back, and then remove these guys. And what I usually do is find how many is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So one, two, three, four on the fifth block. And then just take it in a little bit, maybe. Looks good to me. So that goes one, two, three off of the skip five. So flip this back around. I want it facing the right way. Is that the right way? I can't ever tell with these things. That's the right way. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. So right about there. It's good enough. Right? Oops. Go away. So there's the landing gears. So the last step is basically painting the blue color part. And that's really simple. Um, all I did... I think it's blue anyway. The, the picture's a little dark in, in that regard. It could be black. But I just do two rows. So two, two rows out. Um, for the nose. And then after you do that, just follow it along the base. Kind of thing. You have to be very careful painting while holding the button though. Now the only thing, I didn't really like how it looked disconnected. So I went ahead and did an extra block so it kind of looked like it was going up and then over instead of just, you know, not going up and over, I guess. Uh, kind of the same thing up here. You stop on this block, but you can... Oh, see, that's why it's dangerous to paint this way. Like that. And then you can just come down here and fill in the gaps a little bit. Like... Not like that. Painting the deck over there. And I th think I did... Yeah, I did one back. Just because it looked like it blended a bit better. Um, so kind of the same thing. It's easier when there's nothing underneath you because you can kind of slip off of the edge and it doesn't paint anything it's not supposed to. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. And then just go in and fill in the gaps. Add an extra one there. Bring this guy down. Cap that off. And then get the little gap edges. So that is about it. Now, oops. Since I did this one with the large thrusters and not the small ones, I do want to fly it real quick and just see how it flies. So it could probably use a few more gyros, maybe in the empty uh, empty spaces. But all in all, it's fairly decent. It is more of a shuttle type. Um, yeah, it needs some more gyros. Um, so we can we can do that. Um, all you need to do is break one of the break a few of these guys. And then just grab your gyros and just kind of stick them all over the place. Now, the center of gravity does change somewhat when you fill in like a crap ton of gyros in the nose and not the, the whole base. Um, so that's something else you might want to keep in mind. Um, I'm going to try and do just filling in what was empty there so that we don't end up throwing it off. Let's see how that works. But the more gyros you have, I learned that very early, actually, the better it turns. That's better. It's still not perfect, but it it's a pretty good it's a pretty good turn uh, for a shuttle type craft. So yeah, I think that'll about wrap it up for this episode. I hope you all enjoyed. Um, I know the I hope you liked it. Um, it's not perfect, but it was actually the best I could do, to be honest. Um, 
So I'll probably throw this one up on Steam. Let me know what you think. Um, yeah. Sorry, this one ran a little bit long, but I really just didn't want to break it into a two-parter. So I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I'll see you in the next episode. Peace.